It's possible that pretty rock you just found might be gold. It's important to be able to tell the difference between gold and imposters like pyrite, mica, or limonite. You need to consider all the characteristics of natural gold. Identifying a mineral just by its color is a bad idea because natural gold alloys can be white, reddish, of course yellowish, and even greenish. Gold has a metallic luster, but a lot of minerals that are sulfides can have a metallic luster too. Here's a close-up of a large gold nugget, and you can see it looks like a metal. It doesn't have the luster of a brick or a piece of dirt. It has the luster of a piece of metal. And I can tell you that if you were to turn the nugget around, whatever angle you looked at it, it would look like a metal. It wouldn't look like a metal at some angles and then look like something else at another. One good test to tell if something is gold can be done with a voltmeter because gold is a decent conductor, but the imposter minerals like pyrite, they don't conduct electricity. This is a voltmeter test on a piece of pyrite and it conducts a little tiny bit, but gold conducts really well. Another good test is malleability. When you hit gold with a hammer, it flattens out. But when you hit other minerals like pyrite or mica, they just shatter and break up. Here's an illustration of this. Uh, on the top is a lead bullet that I dug with my metal detector. It's a bullet that's been shot. You can see the tip has been um, pushed a little bit. And I dug it up and set it on something hard and then hit it a couple of times with a hammer. And then... The picture below is what happened to the lead bullet after it had been hit a couple of times with a hammer. Gold behaves the same way. Uh, it had both, they both lead and gold have this property of being malleable. I didn't want to smash a perfectly good nugget, but uh, lead is a good example to show exactly the same thing. My full video on how to identify gold is pinned in the comments below. It's important to know what gold looks like because...